Good morning, fellas. So, you guys doing fun? Welcome back to another episode in Jay's Vlogs. I know, I know it's a bit dark, but uh, since it's early morning, I can't do much about it. But here's the thing, I wanted a bit of light, which is why I pressed my car light up there. <laughs> okay, so you guys will be wondering, where am I going in the early morning? Why am I driving in the early morning? It's still COVID, it's still lockdown, so what am I doing? I will tell you where am I going in a while, but for now, enjoy the BGM, guys. <laughs> Okay guys, so we have reached the destination. I have parked the car and the destination is... I was just kidding guys, that's not the building that we are going. That's, that's actually Monash University. So yeah, that's not the place we are going. But where, where we are going now is the place opposite to it. But not exactly opposite now, like need to walk a few minutes though. Wow, it's been so long I came here. Kinda like, I don't know, I feel like a bit deja vu now. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I feel. It feels good to come back after around 9 months, so yeah. According to my sources in Sunway, well, for those who don't know, I'm in Sunway right now. According to some sources here, uh, they say that Sunway is quite well known as the interconnecting city. So, what is exactly interconnecting city and how uh, and how Sunway proves to be one? More on that on the next vlog, so don't forget to stay tuned for that one. I can say one thing about Sunway though right now, this is not the Sunway which I knew before COVID. Because this is totally empty man. At this time, usually it's, it's going to be around like 7 right now, it's like 5 minutes to 7. And usually this place would be like crowded. Like a lot of people will be walking in the canopy walk. This is called the canopy walk. I will explain it on the next video more on this. So right now, it seems to be like I'm the only person who's walking on it. <laughs> oh my god, a lot of things have changed. And even the traffic guys, the road is like near to empty. Oh my god. Just look at the road. One car, two cars, that's it. Wow. Covid did made a lot of things change though. Yeah, I can surely guarantee that. Right now, you might have a big question, which is, why am I going to campus? Is it a face-to-face -face class for me? No. Do I have something urgent to do here? No. So why am I here? It's because I have spent about three semesters just sitting at home. I just felt for myself, it's like, there's no boost for me for this semester much. Hence, I decided to come here, to be here maybe for the first one or two days to get back the environment, the feel, the boost so that I could start my new semester properly. So, yeah. Now, as I mentioned before, it's been around eight to nine months since I have came to campus. I came to my campus, the last was in March 2020 and after that, it's today. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure a lot of things must have been changed. Like for instance, you might have to follow the SOPs and we also need to check the temperatures also. So let's see what is the changes, all right? Okay, so the first changes has been spotted. You see this pathway here, uh, I know it's quite dark in this video but uh, trust me, it's quite bright here. <laughs> so this particular pathway is the link bridge to enter the university building. But since COVID, they have temporarily closed this bridge so that they can monitor the students' movement or anybody's movement into the campus. So what I need to do now is I need to walk a little more further in front and then I'll find a stack case where I can go down and I need to go through the college building instead of the university building but I just hope that the stack case is open or not 
I don't know where should I get down and go. Now it's getting a bit nervous. <laughs> As if I can't understand the campus again. <laughs> but let's hope like, let's hope the staircase is open and okay, I think we have a problem here. No the staircase is closed. It's locked. So it's closed. How am I going to go now? Five minutes later. I did ask a security lady here on how to go since the link bridge and the staircase, everything has been locked. And she says that she's not really sure about it. So I'm gonna do what I know, which is walk all the way to that end, get down, and then go across the street, walk again there. I guess that's the only way I can go to campus now. I'm not sure, but. Let's see if that works. I guess maybe that explains why nobody's in the canopy walk now. I'm not really sure, but maybe that's the reason. Maybe I didn't know about it because I wasn't here for months. Anyways, let's see how to get into campus now. Oh my god, I started to sweat. Morning, morning, it's just sweating. Alama. Ah. Jay, don't, don't, don't. Usually, the day that I forget to bring my handkerchief or tissue, that's the day this happens i'll be sweating a lot same like today i don't know why is that happening but uh, i hope that at least they didn't block this part if this plug is this part is blocked as well i don't know where to go almost there Jay. almost there come on don't give up uh, finally they let me in i can go to the foyer now so that's good yeah I'll explain to you what happened in a second. Alright, we have successfully entered the campus, but now I have something urgent to settle, so let me go there first. Since they are cleaning it, looks like I have to wait. I can't go a floor up because I'm not in the state to go upstairs, so yeah, I'm just gonna wait here. So let's just see what are the changes that happened here for now. First up is the statue here. This is a new statue. The statue is called Destiny and the artist's name is Infanito Fernandez. Damn, that's some crazy video over there. I really love it though. The second change is that I saw as soon as I got into the university foyer is that a rental power bank system. Yeah, so it's a system where you can scan the QR code. You need to make sure that you have the app in your phone, then scan the QR code and then you can check out a power bank from the station and you're gonna start charging your smartphone so I think that's a pretty kick-ass thing to have this is it guys this is the system the rush power bank renting system I think it's pretty cool though so let's see if I can try one but uh, for now my battery is full so if my battery runs low I might just use one let's see and of course one of the biggest changes is how to ask people to maintain the social distance so in order to do that Sunway have made a step and I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this in social media a lot before this. Let me just show you what it is. Here we go. So this one is how Sunway is asking the students or the people who's coming to Sunway to maintain their social distancing. You see, initially this was a table of four, but now they have made it into a table of two by blocking two of two of the spots here so that only one student can sit here and here which is really cool good job Sunway and now let me tell you what happened in front just now okay so what happened was I was coming to the main entrance and then uh, they asked me whether I am the student or not and for which I said yes I am the student and then they said okay so you can go scan at the foyer there so i'm like okay so i came to the foyer and what happened was came here and then uh, the officer there asked me to scan the qr code the concept here is a bit different compared to the common mysore jatra way because sunway would like to have a copy of your attendance you're coming here as well so what happens is that here they use a normal qr code rather than mysore jatra one so you need to come here, scan the QR code, fill up the details and then at the end they will say Sunway will send a copy of this to the Mysore Jatra so that's how they are operating here and yeah that's about it so uh, once that process is done a QR code will be generated where you need to show it to a screen 
which has a camera on top so once it scans the QR code and it knows that the QR code is valid you have come inside the Sunway campus it will let you in as simple as that so yeah and also I asked him whether if the link bridge and the staircase will be locked for like for the whole day and for which he said yes but we could have used the pathway of graduate center I thought it was locked which is why I didn't go there but looks like it is open for students we could have skipped the, square, the sweating part by going there but what to do? Salty. And in this vlog, we have a special guest in front of us, and that is the popular Yuna. Hi, Yuna. How are you? Hey, Yuna, please talk, Yuna. I'm recording the video. Please. I'm sorry, guys. She's not talking. And I don't understand what happened to my mask today. It's keep on coming under my nose. This is the correct way to wear the mask, okay? Not in this way. This is wrong. This is completely wrong. This is the correct way to wear a mask we will explore the campus a bit more after this but for now i was thinking to do something because for the past few days i came across several videos which are not really famous videos where they ask someone what is the biggest gain and what is the biggest loss of yours in 2020 i think i'm gonna do a small interview asking these two simple questions so let's see Rolling action so guys, today we are going to interview the one and only Jaga. Say hi Jaga, say hi to the camera. Hi. So tell me Jaga, how have you been? How is this COVID affects you and also Happy New Year? I've been doing good. Yeah. Um, it doesn't affect me much but uh, I'm just being in my house. So that's it. Yeah, Happy New Year to you too. And let me ask these two questions, okay? So, what is your biggest gain of 2020 or biggest profit? As well as what is your biggest loss of 2020? My biggest loss, my biggest loss of 2020 will be not meeting my friends a lot, just staying at home. So, it made me more lazy of course. My biggest gain was actually, I've gained weight. That's it. Okay, so that's all our interview. Thank you so much for joining the interview, Jaga. You may go now and have a nice day ahead. Okay, thank you so much. Alright, bye guys. I know that was odd, but it's all for the content, man. <laughs> okay, and uh, for those who have clicked this video, for sure you have seen that the channel name has been changed down here. So now instead of Jay's vlogs, you'll be seeing simply Jay. And yeah, I changed it like a few days ago. The reason why I did this because I don't want this channel only to upload vlogs. Because you see, right now I'm not a daily vlogger, I'm not a weekly vlogger, I'm just uploading vlogs whenever I do one. Since I'm not doing much vlogs now, I wanted my channel to have something different content as well. So which is why I changed the name so that this not only have vlogs but also other videos. Alright guys, time for my online class. Let me attend my online class. Two hours later. This is one of my favorite, I don't know if it's a restaurant or stall, this is my favorite stall in the campus because their fried rice is one of the best when I eat it before the lockdown started which was in March 2020 so I just ordered again the fried rice so let's see if the taste has changed or what overall the taste is still the same but I have to say the flavor has reduced a bit yeah but overall still fine Okay. okay guys class is over for today i think i've covered all the changes that i've noticed in the university building down here so let's go to the college building and see if there's any difference there let's go as for the college building i have roamed around for a while and i have seen uh, nothing has changed actually except for one part which was the graduate center the place i need to come over in order to enter the college 
that is the only place that has been changed basically they have renovated the place so it looks totally new so check this out the red pillars with the glass is the new building of the graduate center before this it was something was just like a white building now they have made it into more a modern looking infrastructure it looks dope The pathway that we're walking right now is actually going towards Sunray Pyramid and you can also go to Graduate Center. Oh my god guys, it's more likely like I don't even recognize this place. This is a total makeover man. Gosh, this is something I wasn't expecting. I was expecting they might just want to change the outer layer but this is incredible. And now we are walking towards Sunray Pyramid just for walking sake. And here we are guys, welcome to Sunway Pyramid Yeah, so that canopy walk actually directly connects here So yeah, it's really easy for Sunway student and Monash student to use this canopy walk straight away come here though Much more easier We came here just for the sake of walking So now we are gonna walk back to the college and then go to my car The canopy walk here is kind of like zigzag up and down So I guess that indicates that this is the old track from the monorail and while walking back to campus we can definitely we are definitely surrounded by these greenies left and right so it's kind of nice it's kind of feeling a bit chilling actually yeah the weather is also chilling but yeah your mind can be relaxed a bit you know that's what i'm trying to say here i'm kind of breathing heavily now because it's been long i've been walking for a long distance since mc i'm just staying at home so i'm kind of like breathing heavy now but hey this is a good exercise right so I'm really glad that I came to campus today and over to my left you can see all the Sunway Lagoon steam parks yeah so I'm basically walking beside Sunway Lagoon now and on my right is actually Sunway International School but I can't show right now because too much of trees in between me and the school let me show you once I get a clear picture okay there you go this is Sunway International School I don't know whether we are looking at the classroom or the canteen but yeah this is the international school and there's also a pathway which the students actually can use to come straight away which is there they can just come over here but as far as I see most of the days is just locked I think it's for safety reasons I'll try to show you the graduate center with its like the whole building it surely did mesmerize me because I know how did it look before and how it looks now so I'm really in love with the new design check this out guys this is a new graduate center this whole thing is totally renovated brand new and actually the thing that we are looking now the whole thing is actually just built before that is just the car park over there and up here the glass there were nothing so they they just added everything now oh my gosh I just love the design man and this is also something new so you see this is the graduate center and now they have built another link bridge which actually goes there so people can actually go down there damn guys damn 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 I don't know why I'm so obsessed with this but I just love the design a lot you see behind me this is where I should have gone in the morning but I didn't know that I should go here but from far I just need to explore and I could only see like the lecturers pointing their cards to go in hence I thought it's not open for students looks like it was my fault that's why I had to make a big U-turn and I was sweating a lot in the morning oh my god but now I know where to go which is perfect Finally, we are nearing the staircase, which is good. My face does look sweaty, but uh, I think that's really worth it because uh, it's been a long time I walked in the canopy walk, so it's a really good exercise for my leg. So I really don't mind getting sweaty now. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it and. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. Most importantly, subscribe to Simply J.
Toxic.